listening to this. Hey, Jared, what's up? Not much. How you guys doing today? Good. Jared is our new intern, and uh, he creeps us all out. But uh, yeah, he has but been. Sam suggested that mm-hmm. uh, he should be an intern on this radio show. So we said, all right, who are we to say? <laughs> I don't like the fuzzy hair on his calves. <laughs> it really bugs me. Wow. He's got all sorts of things going on. You know, the, the, the creepy smile with the crazy eyes is my favorite part. He's known as alternate universe Biff Tannen. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a picture yeah, of look. Biff. <laughs> it looks like a young Biff. He's Biff. Uh, and um, his eyes just go from side to side. What yeah. are you trying to look at? Nothing. Nothing in, in particular? No. All right. Yeah. We're, we're learning that uh, Jared is a huge fan of the Opie and Anthony show, right, Sam? He's probably the biggest Opie and Anthony fan I've ever met. Wow. Yeah, but his eyes disgust all of us. Can you not look at us? He has, he has, I'm driving a van in front of a grammar school eyes. Yeah. yeah. He just makes that look where it's like, <laughs> just that. <laughs> and he's got that kid that you didn't, you kind of didn't want to know in the playground hair. <laughs> you know? Like, remember that kid in school? Yeah, I did that. He's got the, see, you got the same hair kids have like in in third grade in the on the playground. No, it's it's the haircut where mommy's too busy is like I just get the get the hair out of his eyes and yeah, leave everything yeah, else kind of thing. how it is. It's not a bad thing, don't worry. It's oh, sorry, he's thing. right here. Uh, I thing. mean it, it looks good on you. Yeah. <laughs> Some the pal talk people are peering in. Yeah. Uh Iraq working the camera. Yeah. So, Jared, you're a big fan of the show? Yeah. Are you enjoying your internship so oh, far? It's been really awesome. Thank yeah. you guys for What's your favorite part about it? Um, the fact that I, uh, get to hang out here and, like, learn about what you guys do every day. Isn't it cool to see us in, like, real life? Yeah, it's really awesome. It is, right? Yeah, isn't that amazing? I thought so. Hold that paper out. <laughs> hold the paper out. Hold it all the way from your body. Hold that straight out. He's not shaking Okay, well, I thought he was shaking really yeah. bad. He's right. Well, Jared, um, he, uh, prepared some, uh, questions. Uh-huh. And he's a big fan of the Opie and Anthony show. So we figured uh, we'd have Jared interview uh, a fan favorite. Yes. Stalker Patty. Stalker Patty. Everyone knows Stalker Patty. So you uh, you got some some questions and you're going to interview Stalker Patty. Yeah. All right. We do have a little twist that we'll explain in a second. That you have, yeah, his eyebrow just went up. I figured as much. Oh, you don't know about the twist? No, that's the beauty. Oh, okay, that's fun then. That, that's great. Good. His eyebrow just went up. Because honestly, you just interviewing Starker Patty, who, who gives a crap? Yeah. yeah. Patty, I, hi. Hey, Patty, why don't you sit down next to Jared? Yeah. Nice Look at her dance. with her backpack. Wow. They both have the same bodies. It's colder in here than I realized, Patty. Oh, Patty, yeah. Nice. Usually that's really hot. <laughs> uh, Patty, yeah. are you um, are you running out of money? Because I'm noticing maybe you can't afford hair dye. Well. Your roots are five inches long. Can we, like, uh, use a Sharpie on your roots? No. <laughs> I'm no. going to go to the store and get some more coloring and have my friend do my hair again. I do it every six weeks. Every six weeks, and I guess that was about nine weeks ago was the last one. How? Yeah, well, I am 51 years old. Everything what does it, that mean? Yeah, I accept my age. But what does that mean? You, hold on. You don't accept your age if you're dyeing your hair. Yeah, that's true. Why don't well, you let it just you know, go I gray? Just, People that really accept their age just, you know, they let well, it go gray. I mean, they, I have they let them hang. They you know. All sorts of crap. Why don't you oh. just perm it like a still Getty? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean I have to let it go gray. I can still care about my appearance and stuff, you yeah, know? Why start now, though? Uh, tip your head down. Let me see how gray. Wow. Yeah, there's it's some all in the right. front. I'll just simply wash you know what it looks like when you're flying over uh, America and just before L.A., you go over, what, the Rockies? The mountain range. But it's kind of late spring, so it's just uh, some snow trails. I, I really don't think I'm that bad. I think I look better. I've seen other 51-year-olds, uh, and I think I'm that much right. better on the scale. Trust right. me. Right. Enough. <laughs> All right, Jared. Yeah, yeah. Have you met Jared before, Stalker Patty? No. That's Jared. Hello, how are you? Hi. Jared is going to interview you, uh, Stalker Patty, okay? Okay. And you're up for anything, right? Yeah, I'm up for a good interview. <laughs> All right. Uh, is it time? Yeah. Bring in the helmets. Yes. Helmets? Yeah, a little helmets. Bring in the helmets. Now, here comes the little rig. There that daddy, it is. Uh, daddy, um... 
made the helmet apparatus. Yeah. You're about to listen to the first uncomfortably close interview. This is our first <laughs> installment of uncomfortably close interview. What we have here are two helmets, and they are um, fastened together at the visor yes. of the helmets. Yeah. And when they both strap the helmets on, their faces will be mere inches <laughs> apart. And they must conduct the interview uncomfortably close. You know, when someone invades your personal space, yeah. you get that feeling like, oh, God, and you have to kind of step back. Well, in this case, uh, no one's going to be able to step back. There is no pulling back because if you step back, that person's face is coming right with you. That's right. Uncomfortably close interview. I tend to like to stand about 18, 20 inches away from people I talk to. Ah, <laughs> oh, Shut up. She does. <laughs> All right, why don't, we, uh, why don't we get the helmets on, uh, Jared and uh, Stalker Patty. Yeah, stand up so we can play. Yeah, stand, stand up. up. Get the helmets on because you're not really going to be able to turn your heads very no, they're, well. They're once bicycle uh, helmets, right? So yeah. they've got the straps and everything. All right, Jared. Yeah, you got a big head, huh? Wow. Jared's well, you got to put the strap right and everything. Oh, my God, you're a retard. Got all money. Oh, there man. you go. For Jared, why don't we get a... <laughs> <laughs> Look how big your head is. You, have a you do have pull? a big head. Well, you know what? I, already I'm thinking that we need the helmets uh, closer. slightly closer. closer. Yeah. I would like closer. Back to the Institute after this one. Yeah. We're going to go closer even, uh, Danny. All right. But for the first one, I think it's uncomfortably close. Yeah, that is. That's uncomfortable. Yeah. All right. So we got uh, Jared and his bike helmet. We got Starker Patty and her bike helmet. They're a mere eight inches uh, from each other's uh, mouths. <laughs> look at Patty's uncomfortable she's body language. She's yeah, she folds her arms. And Jared can't look at her. This is really uncomfortable. She's pulling at her clothes. You're, you're doing everything that shows you're very uncomfortable, Patty. <laughs> All right. And <Pat>. Jared, <laughs> Jared's just making this disgusted <laughs> face. <laughs> You both look very silly, by the way. I yeah. have to add that in. They are, they are not close enough. You don't think they're close no. enough? No, I understand. the. But no, no they, here's what I don't like, and this is where they're both cheating. I want you both to, Can you put your head straight a little bit? Yeah, straight yeah, up. Straighten, yeah, straighten your There you go. Right. Straighten your heads out. <laughs> All right. I think they might uh, need to be a little closer. Yeah, what do you step, think? step closer feet-wise. Touch right. toes. Yeah. Hey, you big lug. Hey, do we have a rope or something we can tie around them? Or something? No. Yeah, yeah, tape them up. I'm thinking Hold just on. tape the... Uh, yeah, we, we we have to improvise on the spot. You're tape the helmets somebody. together without the visor. No, just tape uh, their bellies together close. Push them in. Push them in. There All right, you there go. you go. Now, now you're getting close. Now we're getting close. Just tape her together. Yeah, no, there Now she's pulling away. Get her, get her closer to Jared. There you go. Don't tape his hairy arms. I'm not used to... Uh, I'll be quiet. I'm not used to anything. You're not used to... Air. Social outcast. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough tape. No. <laughs> no All right, Jared more. is covering his uh, his mouth. What, you got bad breath, uh, Jared? No. I don't Jared know. is really uncomfortable. Jared, what's the matter? Does Patty maybe... What's um... wrong, Jared? Absolutely nothing. I'm ready to do this interview. All right, here oh, we go. Now they're, now they're very uh, close, closer than... Uh... Oh, God. Here, here, turn around for the pal talkers. All right, Jared, conduct your uncomfortably <laughs> close interview with Stalker Patty. Now, Patty, um, how did you get into listening to Opie and Anthony? Um, when I was working for a or nonprofit organization, they were saying bad things about them, so I says I got to hear the show. So I did, and I got hooked in August of '98. And then they were like, "Oh no, she likes the show." Um, okay, uh, All right, Jimmy, hold on. What? Wait a minute, Patty. Yeah. You're not looking him in the eye. Yeah, you got you, you, No, no, what you're doing now is, you, and, and this is common in an interview of this kind, is, is you're looking down, and, yeah. and when, when you look down, your chin kind of pushes your body back and gives yep. you a little more yeah. room. We don't like it. <laughs> eye this, contact must be maintained, except when Sweetie is reading the question. Yeah, this is, a, they're very close to each other. I think we need to push them uh, even closer together. What yeah. do you think? What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Kenny, Kenny, you want to be responsible for making sure they're a little closer? Judging by the condition of uh, young Jared's shorts, I'd say he agrees. <laughs> Oof. All right, Kenny. There you go. <laughs> All right, now they're now pretty much, that tape they're together pretty much right kissing there. at this point. All right. Kenny, we're close enough. Uh, all right, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, uh, I want Jared. You to describe a day in your life from the moment you wake up. <laughs> Get up. Uh, if I'm not working in the morning, go on Pal Talk. Look at him. If I'm working, just go to work and make my lattes and ring my customers and 
on Monday I'm responsible for all the tips and stuff, you know. <laughs> Parking yeah. and pal talk and you know the shows. Jared, you gotta you gotta look in her eye as she's uh, you know answering your question. And we'll shoot yourself be included in that itinerary. <laughs> We've tapped into some with Jared. He's very uncomfortable. From the Opie and Anthony show, how many times have you had your head shaved? Twice. <laughs> Why do you sell yourself so cheap? <laughs> Uh, no, why do you sell yourself so short for such a cheap laugh? <laughs> yeah, so. I don't sell oh, myself. Oh, she's laughing like, ha <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you do. How's her breath, Jared? It's pretty gruesome. <laughs> is it? Yeah. It is not. I brushed my teeth. I don't have bad breath. Jared? It, yeah, it, it, um... What does it smell like? Like a fish market. It's Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, Patty. Right, now everyone's uncomfortable. Now everyone's even more uncomfortable. Wrap the cord around them. I don't want them oh, trying no, to pull Patty. apart now. Wait, hold on now. Patty, you got a face on Patty, what's the matter? What's wrong, Patty? I'm uncomfortable being this close. Of course you're uncomfortable. That's why it's let's, called let's, Uncomfortably let's Close you. Interview. Um, yeah. All right, go ahead. you have your head shaved again? No. What, what are you? Are, are you too big? Are you too important? She's holding her hair. No, I don't want it shaved again. I care about my appearance. Oh, oh, do you? Okay. <laughs> She's freaking out, thinking doing, that her Patty? hair's going to be Patty, we're not shaving your head. head. This is what we're doing today. Uncomfortably close interview. Sorry. <laughs> with your bad breath that Jared is just I just got scared. Patty, what'd you eat this morning? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong, Patty? She just touched the back of her head and she just with freaked. the bell she and she freaked out. She almost broke her neck in that rig. Yeah, yeah someone's going to break their neck here. Fix Let's your see. stupid helmet. <laughs> Look at her helmet. No one's going to touch your hair. Turn Patty towards this way, though, so I can see her face. Her helmet's all twisted <laughs> around. <laughs> what a <laughs> dope. The way she was. All right. All right. I want to... I want to oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, how come Patty's helmet's falling off? Because she twisted her head around. Patty. Yeah, because she's freaking out. Well, she a little bit. All right. <laughs> All right. Hold the thing with one hand and put the... Hold the paper with one hand. There you go. All right. <laughs> now they're really close. Now Jared is pretty much slow dancing with Patty. I just feel his tummy. <laughs> oh, Jared, she feels your tummy. It's not a tummy. That's a gut. Yeah. Um, mouse traps are getting your head shaved. Which one do you prefer? I'd rather do mouse traps. Why? It's more pre preferable for getting my head shaved. Hey, uh, do six and seven there, Jerry. Why well, I got to put my arms around them for? Yeah, pull them in. Patty pull them in towards you. Because this is uncomfortably close interview. Oh, shoot. <laughs> What's the matter, Patty? Pa now she, she's, she's so close, she's covering her own uh, mouth because she knows her breath might Patty, be. Patty, face him. Yeah. Face Patty, him. Talk face right him. into him. Look at his face. We're going to make you get even closer if you don't play along here. Yes. All right, go ahead, Jared. Six and seven. Explain how you came to live underneath the stairs of WNEW. Um, I was going to take part in a radio contest that the people I was staying with objected to, and I went ahead and did it anyway against their wishes, so they threw it. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I for She's trying to talk without moving her lips. Without moving her lips, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, sorry. So uh, you did a bit for our show, and the people you were living with uh, didn't approve, right? So right. then what happened? Well, they well, kicked me out. They kicked me out, <laughs> and it's very difficult for me to get a place to live. <laughs> So I I you know, I'm not the type that could go on the street and hang out. I, I'm not used to that, so I wanted to have a roof over my head. You're not so facing. You're not facing the interviewer. Face, face, face him. Turn your head. Don't make turn Kenny, your head and look directly Kenny, at Jared's face. Yeah, carefully so just, turn her head. <laughs> there you Kenny's go. Now all the so just for Patty, turn your head to the right. All right. Is this there? You go. Talk? Right there. How tall? Can they see well? Yeah. They're like a mere two inches from each other's lips at this point as the interview continues. Although the paper is in the way. Yeah, paper's in the way there, Jared. Jared, what are you pulling back? What are you doing? Here, pull the... Put the paper down, Jared, so the pal talkers can see you. All right, there you go. Patty, continue uh, answering. So I figured a safe place would be like on the couch right next to the studio so I would be safe for a few days until I figured out what to do. So you were living under the stairs at, for a while. Well, not with for your, a while. With your like pet rabbit. a week, and then yeah, after that I found a, some kind of shelter. All right, Jared? Or would you have preferred to live in a van down by the river? I didn't know of any vans down <laughs> by the river. Of course she doesn't. You know, you know Patty, um, 
One of, the, him, Patty. one of the funniest moments right at in the Anthony history involved you getting thrown out of WNEW and then getting your wig repossessed in the middle of the street. Um, what was going through your bald head at the time? I have to go to work, uh, my dignity. <laughs> but I got to keep the wig anyway. He gave it to me back. Patty, why are you looking away? She keeps looking yeah, away. Yeah, Patty. Kenny. You're not going to kiss each other. Kenny, it's your job. Uh, turn yeah. their heads right oh, toward each other. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, Kenny's like ready to bang their heads together. <laughs> oh, my God. No, the old cop days are coming back. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you two skulls talk. Kenny's having a flashback. <laughs> Put your head up, yeah. Patty. Up. Yeah, just talk. You're not kissing. So weird. <laughs> Are you a little too close there, Patty, you think? You haven't been this close to a guy's no. face? No. <laughs> You haven't been this close to a guy's face before? No. Jared, what's the most, un just... what's the most, un and be honest, what's the most unpleasant part of this interview? Uh, I'm standing right next to her. Why? Uh, it's just really uncomfortable. You're fogging up her glasses, by the way. What's, uh, <laughs> what's Jared's breath uh, like, Patty? I don't know. I never smelled one's breath before, like, <laughs> I don't know. All right. Normal, I guess. Head up, Patty. Head up. Head up. Not to the side. Here, get her chin up there, uh, Kenny. All right, next question there, Jared. Oh, God. All right. Patty, um, if the studio was on fire and you had to choose between saving Opie, Anthony, or Jim, who would it be? I would save everybody. <laughs> you can't, dummy. You can't. It's a choice. You have to choose one. Oh, I can't do that. Everybody's important. Why don't you answer the question? Answer the question. Answer the question. It's hypothetical. Or we make you kiss, superhero. <laughs> I don't know. You better say somebody, because uh, if you don't... one of the three, Patty. One of the three, but what about the other two? They'll understand. Screw them. We die. They and could only save one person. Anthony yeah. and Jimmy will understand. Mm. Just, That's just, it. You know, one we'd person. We'd rather be dead than owe you <laughs> 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 I bet I just do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> well, I gotta finish that. <laughs> yeah, come on. Hey, we're, right. Do it like we used to well, do it when we were kids. The other two are gonna get out somehow, definitely, and they'll probably be right behind me. Uh, I would take the lightest one out of the three. Which one is that, Patty? Yep, I don't know. The, the easiest one to grab and whatever. Would Can't you commit to anything? Be. Yeah. Patty, Patty, it's Opie. Anthony or Jim. It's as simple as that. <laughs> All right. Um, I would take uh, the smallest person. Oh, you know, name a name. You got three choices. <laughs> Kenny, okay. Kenny's going to make grab, you kiss. Well, I would think the easiest person to grab would probably be Jimmy because the other two won't let me near them. <laughs> and uh, <they'll> hopefully <laughs> they'll be running out right behind me. I'll blaze a trail behind oh, me so right. they can follow. So Bravo to Patty. Jimmy, and All right. I'll blaze a trail so they can follow yeah, me. We All right, uh, Jared, what about uh, question nine? Thanks. Question nine. Um, Patty, it seems like you'll do anything for money. You're, you've had your head shaved. You've rolled around naked in mouse traps and with a crusty the clown mask. How much does Opie and Anthony have to finally shell out for you to have sex? Mm. Oh... First of all, I don't want to have sex. <laughs> Why? Sex. Well, because I don't want the problems that could occur. Like what? You're not going to get knocked up, so, uh... Yeah. Yeah. And they have condoms if you're worried about STDs. Well, I don't want AIDS or anything like that either. In this day and age, you can't be too careful. Patty, in all honesty, you'd yes, be you lucky can. if you got AIDS. <laughs> uh, you'd be lucky if I had sex. Well, the barbs are flying. Yeah, wow. <laughs> See, there you go. First application of the new sound clip. No, 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 no. It has to be a dollar amount. Dollar amount? Yeah. Oh, God. Million dollars. All right. All right. <laughs> Opie, get your checkbook. Yeah, no problem. Oh, man. please. Want to go heavies on this? That kind of <laughs> hey, hey, listen. All right. We're running out of time with the, the first installment of the uncomfortably uh, close interview. Uh, guys, any question you want Jared to ask that's on the list here? I, I would, no, I would have, oh, I, I, I don't have a copy of the question. Oh, uh, well, well, how about uh, number one, Jared? Or number two? Okay. Um, <laughs> Patty, how does it feel to be abandoned as a teenager? Abandoned? Yeah. Not too good. No support or anything. And I was on my own from 17. Straight ahead, Patty. Straight ahead, please. Thank you. 
I was on my own since 17 or 18. But, but what was going through your mind that day at the diner? She was oh, infant. I was only a oh, baby. I, nothing was going through my mind. I was only uh, nine months Some old. things never change. She was abandoned uh, at a diner as an infant. In fact, uh, I may have been just right. frightened. Uh, that's about it. Babies cry when they're scared. All right. Eddie, <laughs> um, what would Can't happen you if Edge and you two wanted to have sex with you? Mm. She loves Edge, her hero. Oh, I guess he would. he could be an exception to the rule. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that's Patty. That's not going to happen, so. Uh, any other questions you guys want me to ask? I'd like to, I'd like to see you two peck each other. Not not a French kiss, but look, like a little Yeah, kiss. your lips are so close together. Why not just yeah. give each other a friendly little kiss on the lips? Uncomfortably close interview always ends with a ends little, with a little a kiss. Little, a little kiss. A little peck. Not a, a friendly kiss. Dirty one, just a like a grandma. Yeah, just a, like you'd kiss your yeah, grandma. Grandma kiss. <laughs> yes, which age-wise, which works. Grandma kiss. Let's go. This will end the first installment. Yeah. Jared, what's the matter? No. Why? Jared's refusing. Why, Jared? Wow. What's wrong, Jared? Why, Jared? You got a girlfriend? I'm kind of involved with someone. Well, it doesn't matter. It's his pack. Boyfriend? It's not a sexual thing. Is it a guy? No, it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. Well, <laughs> she knows. Exactly. Well, trust me. This, trust me. This isn't cheating. Yeah. yeah. This isn't uh, cheating in any universe. It's work related. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny. What, what did Kenny say? It's this, work related. It's work related. <laughs> this is pretty much my worst nightmare coming true. Right, right here? Just a yeah. peck. All right. Just a quick little. Oh, God. Right on the old lips. Yeah. Oh. She got. She got the little. Um, right, they're taking their helmets off. They're still attached by the you, hips. Um, it looked like you like untape me. So as soon as I uh, kiss her, you can run. Yeah. No, you don't have to run. No, you can break the out. tape. Uh, you can break the tape yourself after you kiss. All right. This will end uh, the uncomfortably close interview. The uh, helmets are coming off. They're. You know, we're not talking tongue or anything, but no. you got to just grandma kiss. You got to press your lips together for a little bit. Come on, Patty. Grandma kiss, and it's over. Just a little bit. All right. Let's go. Go ahead. You can't catch anything. Don't worry. Go Come on, on. let's go. Acting. Yeah, make like you're acting. Yeah. You're doing a scene. <laughs> Here's the scene. You two are chained together. The tape is chained. <laughs> so and, and it's like a James Bond movie, and you're ready to die, both of you. Yeah. And and you secretly are in love with each other. And this is your final farewell goodbye. Uh, that's your motivation. Right. So look into each other's eyes, and then uh, uh, say goodbye, <laughs> and then and then kiss. Can you pull uh, Patty's head back? There you go. Pull her hair. Oh, Jesus. He's pulling her hair. Oh, my God, Kenny. Oh, Kenny is out of practice. <laughs> All right. They're really close. See, Jared, at this point... You... Yeah, I might as well just give in. Yeah. At yeah. this point, you have to. Now, I mean, now, make been... it a little slow. Don't it's on just... video that you were forced to do it. So... If, if you do it wrong, we're going to just have to do it again. Yeah. It's like a breathalyzer. That's right. So what you got to do is touch your lips together. And do one of those, like, stupid third-grade kisses where you right. just kind of put your lips together for a little bit and twist your head around yeah. a little. And then uh, you, uh, you know, part ways. All right, let's go. All right? Here we Don't go. Don't pull away, Patty. Grandma kiss. Here it comes. One, I'm two. sorry. Here it goes. Ah! Ah! That stunk. Oh. That did stink. I yes, but I no, no. It. You got to do it a little longer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a little longer. Yeah. No kiss. tongue. Just, just press your lips together and leave them there for a bit. Hey, Jared, do you like your internship here? Ooh. You got to do it. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Three seconds. Three, one thousand. Yeah, and, That's and fair. The, your lips have to be touching the whole time. If they come apart, we're gonna do it again. And that was that was the rule in my house when we had to kiss my grandma. Three one hundreds <laughs> or one thousands, whatever. That's it. You guys used to kiss your grandmothers on the lips. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I slipped more than kiss. Let me tell you, a little more than kissing. It was innocent though. She told me to close my mouth. It's a true story. Let's go, Jared. All right. Here they go. Sorry, Jared. Just touch, touch them together. Three seconds. And hold them there for here you go. Three one thousand. Ready? Oh, that's it. Here we go. Yeah, Patty, it's a peck. yeah, yeah. Little hug on the shoulders. Go ahead. Patty, make believe. Drop that paper and put your arms around her waist. One, one, one. No, no, no. They're, no, not, they're not kissing. A no. kiss. Come on. Patty, pucker up. Pucker oh up. My God, this could be the pucker worst kiss I've ever seen in my life. Come on. Come on. All right. That was three. That was three. All right. No, you were like fucker. Four at least. All right. Jared was looking right up at the ceiling. Patty was just. Patty's mortified. looking to the side. Patty, nice, She's huh? wiping her kissing, mouth off. Kissing a younger man, Patty. Yeah. Uh, Patty, you're a cougar. <laughs> Patty's officially a cougar. I need to go I'm not a cougar. Why? Jared, how old are you? 
I'm going to be 20 next month. Oh, oh Patty! Patty! He's not even legal. Robbing the cradle, man. Oh, oh Patty. Patty, you know. You old whore. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Patty, you could almost be his grandma. Oh. No, almost. She could be, dude. She could oh, be. Oh, right? Patty. Oh, yeah, she God. could definitely be his grandma. Yeah. Oh, I could see the message board. All right. Patty. You hey, you know what? For the You're a pervert, Patty. For the first time, I think, uncomfortably close interview worked pretty well. Yep. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna like uh, fine tune it. Send it back to the institute. Yep. Uh, do some research. Yep. See how it worked out. Check yep. our readings. It, also, uh, maybe the message boards could uh, figure out who they want Jared to interview next. Jared was a good mm. was good. Any one of the show uh, members, except for like the you know like the big A's and and the rest of them. Okay. So Patty, was that a good kiss? Did you like that? It was an uncomfortable. All right, listen. We gotta take a break. The message boards will decide who Jared interviews next. Okay? When we get back...